Hello, this is a gross pathology specimen taken from the synovial tissue in the knee joint and this is a very large piece of synovial tissue with a very interesting appearance. If you look in this area, which I'm going to magnify, we can see that there is almost this uh, frond-like appearance or these finger-like uh, projections giving it a papillary appearance grossly. And let's turn this around and we can also see quite obviously this appearance here and also um, on the opposite surface. So it has a somewhat villous or frond-like appearance and the diagnosis here is pigmented villonodular synovitis. In the fresher specimen, this uh, color of the synovial tissue may actually appear a bit more brownish or even yellow because of lipids. Let's take a look more closely at this lesion. So here we just saw an example of pigmented villonodular synovitis and this is one of the subtypes of tenosynovial giant cell tumor. This is a benign tumor that arises from synovial tissue and usually occurs in young adults and uh, because it arises from synovial tissue it is found in these locations. There are two main types of tenosynovial giant cell tumor. There is the diffuse type which is also known as pigmented villonodular synovitis, which is what we just saw. And this tends to occur in large joints, such as the knee joint, uh, giving rise to some boggy swelling, uh, pain, as well as uh, joint locking. It may sometimes erode into the bone or underlying soft tissue. And the treatment is actually surgical excision, but these cases may recur. The other type is the localized type, which usually just occurs as a nodule, and this tends to favor the extremities. So it, for example, can arise in the finger as a painless nodule attached to the tendon sheath. So in gross appearance in the fresher specimen, the diffuse type of tenosynovial giant cell tumor or PVNS, this often has this kind of a brownish or orange appearance and this is because of a lot of hemosiderin uh, deposition because of hemorrhage. Sometimes it may also appear yellowish because of the presence of lipid-filled macrophages. And it has this papillary uh, and sometimes nodular appearance. And as mentioned, uh, it may also infiltrate the bone or soft tissues. The localized type usually occurs as a nodule, and this can be quite lobulated. The cut surface shows a variety of colors, so there may be this variegated appearance. Um, there may be yellowish areas because of lipid-laden macrophages. There may be brownish areas because of hemosiderin, and there may also be paler areas. Let's take a look at the microscopic appearance. So this is a lower magnification view of one of the areas of these frond-like uh, projections and this is actually hyperplastic synovial lining and the underlying tissue uh, has a variety of cells. Moving to a more high magnification picture, we can again see the hyperplastic synovial lining and in the stroma there is a variety of cells in this particular area we can see all these pale cells which are foamy macrophages and aggregates of these macrophages would give uh, this lesion a yellowish appearance grossly and over in this region you can see these brownish deposits this is actually hemosiderin and sometimes this hemosiderin is found within macrophages and again this imparts the brownish appearance um, there may also be osteoclast-like giant cells and some fibrohistiocytic cells in the background. So again, this is a benign neoplasm arising from synovial tissue. The management is surgical excision. And to summarize, this is the gross appearance of the diffuse form of this tenosynovial giant cell tumor, which is known as pigmented villonodular synovitis, and it is characterized by this finger-like or frond-like appearance, sometimes with brownish or yellowish areas. Thank you.